All right, it's not even really a shrink rip because this is actually a punched game, but it is against the Reich, Invasion to the Rhine. And it's a Joe Belkowski game. I saw Joe Bel Belkowski and I said, I just have to have this game. Because I think Joe was one of the most underrated game designers in the history of the universe. So, West End title. Let's see when it was made. 86, at the height of uh, Belkowski's uh, production, by the sounds of it. Uh, who else worked on this? Uh, John Southard, we've heard that name before. Uh, Dog's Breakfast of Graphics. Folks who I do not recognize any names, but that means nothing. It just means that I don't know them. And uh, let's see, we've got a little uh, chart in the back for all the counters. Then a big comprehensive, ooh, okay. All right, well, that's a game player's notes. Uh, game player's notes, designer's notes run uh, just about a page. And then really uh, the rules are 27 odd pages long. Fairly dense by the looks of it. Oh no, there's lots of charts. charts. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to have to dig through the rules to find all these charts. They'll be on the maps, hopefully. We'll see. But I'm curious about this game. Also, a bunch of dice here. Four dice for some reason. 2d6 and uh, looks like a d20. And that's a d10. So that's uh, curious. Let's go show you how much I know. I just bought this on the fact that it is, in fact, Dolkowski. Because that's all you need to know. You just buy it. And you deal with it. And you try not to judge the horrid art. Let's hope that this art is not as bad as uh, the, the light division. Here we go. <laughs> Although it may not be far off by the looks of it. Alright, a quick little look here at the map. Okay, let's turn it up the right way. We've got... holy crud, okay. This is... Uh, Okay, just seeing some words with cutoff letters. I'm assuming that they're on the map must overlay here. These are fairly bold colors, wouldn't you say? And the uh, game is split, split up into regions and we'll find out more about what they're for at some point. It looks like I'm gonna to get to do the invasion as well. There's landing zones. Uh, this is France here, Ile de France. Lots of charts on the maps all over the place. German reinforcement tables, turn record tracks. Hmm. What have I bought, my friends? How curious. I am going to be very interested in how this all works. Let's have a look at what that terrain chart says here. Clear. Clear, broken, and rough. Lowlands and mountain, lowlands and mountains. Okay. Allied supply sources, etc., etc. Okay. I'm intrigued. We'll see how, uh, however, Joe decides to handle the invasion and Normandy and taking taking the the battle to the Germans to the Rhine. It's the right way. I can tell you that right now. Oh, this is a theater display. Here we go. That helps you define the uh, VPs and things like that by the looks of it. All right. Interesting. There's an old West End catalog in here. Terran Armor. Great game. West End made some really good games. Never did play any of the Confederate uh, American Civil War games. I've got this and only goofed around with it. I played Air Cav, I wasn't... Uh, you know, I actually did not play Air Cav. I had a look at it and moved on. RAF was obviously very popular with everybody. And then some other stuff. And the Paranoia games. Okay, there we go. Charts, abbreviated sequence of play. It looks like all the charts are gonna be enhanced, so that'll be good. Okay, fellas, that's all I got for you. Just wanted to share this with you, that uh, I'd actually picked this copy up. I was rather excited about it. Uh, picked it up through the uh, 
pay it war gamers pay it forward group actually won this and tank leader i think is the other game that i won and uh anyway there we have a quick look at it you too can invade the right to the rhine all right later on